Good morning from Miami, Florida. We're currently driving from Miami to Fort Lauderdale to see a it's 47 million, mm -hmm. 47 million dollar house. Wow, this is the inside. So this is the lounge. Wow. Wow. Sorry, we're just about to leave, but I wanted to give you guys a quick look at the house. That is amazing. Quickly show you the kitchen island. It's backlit onyx. Oh my gosh. Got the LA Dodgers versus Mets. Yes, Matt. Okay, we're just leaving. We just finished the shoot. Look at this house from the outside, guys. It is unbelievable. We couldn't vlog too much today, so you'll have to go watch the full tour when it comes out and see this incredible home. Pat and Patricia, do you want to be in our vlog? Yes. <laughs> What's up, guys? The team, Pat and Pat. Crazy day today, but damn, this looks amazing at night. Yeah, what do you think? It does look good at night, doesn't it? Yeah, and it's about to rain. I feel the drizzle. I've seen like that drive by slows down. Yeah. And yeah. looks at it. Yeah. The start of this vlog is definitely a little bit more property based as we've had three shoots since being back from Texas and today we are at an apartment in Bell Harbor with the most amazing view. Just, you can kind of see it in the reflection, yeah, turn the camera, wow, that is the ocean um, and it looks pretty incredible and the apartment's pretty nice too. It's just amazing sitting out here isn't it, just admiring the view. So this is a 10 million dollar Miami Beach apartment and we'll show you a little yeah, bit inside in a minute. Just nearly finished the main shoot that we're doing, like the promotional shoot mm. for the listing. So here's a view from the balcony. Area there is all over inlet. Okay, so this is the lounge section. The luxury home show on the TV. Show the bedroom. So the principal bedroom has the view out to the ocean, which is nice. That's an interesting bath. And then basically towards this end of the apartment is the dining space, kitchen, and the two other bedrooms. So this side of the apartment has the bay views. So you've got ocean on that side, bay. Just by the beach now, filming the outro to the video. So this is the apartment building behind that we were just in. Like we were just probably there. Honestly, about 20 steps away from the beach. So we just finished the shoot and we hadn't eaten all day so we stopped off at Pura Vida, our favourite restaurant here in Miami to get a nice healthy chicken bowl, we also got a protein shake. We've got my bowl here and then the banana bread mm. to finish. The shoot went really well, um, it was with our client Michael who we've actually worked with a few times. So yeah, this is Bell Harbour and just experiencing a new area, I guess. Taking in the vibes, just sat outside, great weather, look at this. Good morning, it is Tuesday now and I'm heading to a shoot in the Four Seasons. It's a residence, Four Seasons apartment, not the hotel. And the interior designer who did the project is gonna host the tour. So I'm gonna go by myself today, be the director um, and kind of oversee everything. And Pat will be filming, who we filmed with yesterday. Good morning, <gasps> may I have your attention oh please? God. May I have your attention? This is scary. It's a really nice apartment and I think they knocked two apartments into one. So I'll be directing the shoot and there's actually a lot that goes into directing that you might not actually think. But it's actually a really important role. I guess that's why they have directors in like Hollywood and stuff. I mean I'm not, I'm not up there yet. So yeah, that's going to be fun. I'm going to grab my bag now and pretty much get going. I didn't film too much yesterday, I apologize for that. The apartment in the Four Seasons was stunning. Today I'm giving egg, moon emoji with the slick back. Um, it is the afternoon now actually, Matt and I had a really productive morning. We had a Zoom call that was literally nearly two hours long. Honestly, I was exhausted after it. <laughs> um, but it was really good and yeah, so it's coming up to late afternoon now and we're gonna head to a shop in Winwood called 260 Sample Sale. We haven't been to Winwood in a while actually. It's a really cool place of Miami with lots of like graffiti on the walls, some nice food places, and yeah, um, 
Jeremy and Angie, two people that we met in Miami, took us out there and that was a really nice restaurant, wasn't it? It's a nice little spot, very artsy, good for fashion. So oh, we need to get our fashion game Yeah, we've worked hard this morning and we're gonna go do a bit of exploring this afternoon, spend some time outside. This is the outfit of the day. This is a top from Joa Brown. And then these are the Cook Eye new trousers that I bought in the last vlog. I've just seen a pink cyber truck. Oh, that's cool. I actually see so many different colors of cyber trucks in Miami, don't we, Matt? Yeah, there's actually quite a lot here. Okay, we're just about to arrive. It's around a 15 minute drive from where we live. We actually live in Brickell and this is Wynwood. So yeah, not too far. So I did a bit of research on this shop, 260. Is it 260? Yeah. And they do sample sales. And the brand that's on at the moment is Nanushka. And basically they do different brands on different days. So if you go on their website, you can kind of see what is like on at that day, depending on like when you're in Miami. They actually do have a store in New York. Let's go see what we can find. So we're in Wynwood now. There's oh, wow. Monopoly. Look, when I said there was like graffiti. Oh, and yeah, this is what I meant. I think it's like the hip area of Miami. And to be honest, I'm not sure. Don't take my word on that. Okay, we are just heading to the shop now. Matt's made a new friend in the back. He just told him that he looks like Tom Brady. <laughs> and he said he's got a good choice in women. So that was sweet of him. Oh, I don't, I'm not sure what Matt's doing actually. Oh my gosh, this is a really good ice cream place that we went to. Salt and straw. Okay, let's go bargain shopping. <laughs> I swear that was in New York, Joe's Pizza. Yeah. The summer's checking out some clothes now. Yeah, quite different styles. Yeah. Okay, bag is secured. I picked up a few bits and I'll show you them when we get back to the apartment. That was fun. I'll show you guys what I got when we're back in the apartment. Next weekend, we are going to the Fort Lauderdale Bow Show, so we'll do a bit of shopping for Matt. We'll okay. do some window shopping. Looking forward to it. Um, they did actually say to us to mention to our audience that mm. if you guys are going to buy a ticket, it's a really fun day out. I think it's Thursday till Sunday. You can get 10% off the ticket price, so I think the code's Lauderdale10. I'll put it in the description with the link that you can use to buy it. And next um, Thursday yeah. is 30th of October, right? Yeah, so we'll post mm -hmm. this at the end of this week. And yeah, it's a next weekend activity if you're around Fort Lauderdale or in the surrounding suburbs. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to going, seeing what mm. they've got on and we'll bring you guys along. We'll vlog some of that. We'll capture some of it on the stories and stuff. So mm. looking forward to it. So this bus here is full of basketball players. I just saw loads of tall guys get on and it happens quite often. Like. Well, not that often, but apparently they stay in this hotel. It's a very prestige hotel and yeah, there's sometimes people filming outside and I just saw them get on. I don't know who they are, but... I told you there was like camera people and even look, there's some guys just waiting for them. That's so sweet. No, that's actually so sweet that people are just waiting down there for basketball players to come out. Now, when we first moved here, we actually go to the gym in the hotel. We were coming down the lift from the gym to the lobby. And I think just before the gym is obviously the hotel um, check-in area. And these like really tall guys get in the lift with like the Boston Celtics, um, you know, uniform, is that what it's called? No, but their kit, <laughs> their kit, that's it. And we're just in the lift like, so tall. I'm really excited. I got tickets for us to watch the Lakers versus the Heat game in December. So that's going to be fun. Let me just show you what I got. So with sample sales, you definitely have to work with what they've got because I think I got one thing that was an extra small and one thing that was an extra large. <laughs> but you know when you just find something you like, and like they just don't have your size. So this kind of leather shirt type blouse, it kind of looks quite stylish on. I'll pick that out. Yeah, he did. I needed a jumper for New York. Honestly, this is the coziest jumper. It's, let me show you inside, it's so snuggly. And then this was a last minute sort of panic buy. I saw it on the rail in the changing room. Somebody had put it back. They're sort of like 
Um, is this satin? You know, the silk black trousers. So, yeah, those are the three things I picked up. I also ordered something from Revolve for New York. It might look like I buy a lot of things. Well, that stuff was kindly gifted to me. It does look like I buy a lot of things because I always unbox things on the vlog. And this is all for my New York trip in two weeks. So, if it looks like I have a shopping addiction, it's actually not that bad because I do just show you guys everything. I got a chunk, Matt, do you wanna see this? I got a chunky jumper for New York. We have no cold outfits because we came to Miami with a few suitcases and didn't bring any coats. Not that we really had like nice winter wear. I have a lot of jumpers to be fair. That's kind of cute, isn't it? It's like a big, thick mm. neck. It's like sailing rope. It's like what? Like a rope on <laughs> like old ships. Okay, I've put my chunky knit jumper on. Matt said it looks like boat ropes <laughs> it is a bit ropey like the material but it's it's cute i think it was from a brand called lovers and friends on revolve and this is the leather shirt that i picked up from the sample sale this is what it looks like on it's a little bit different pushing the boat out okay we're just making dinner now we get a sweet potato some arugula can you get the meat out <laughs> get the meat out. <laughs> Steak, thinly sliced. One thing with this kitchen is there's not much countertop space. I'm excited for our next place to have a kitchen island yeah. or some bigger worktop space. I mean, our dream goal is to build and not necessarily build, but like design our own house. Um, and build. Yeah, and build. It doesn't have to be the first one we do, but we've been in this apartment now six months, Matt. I know, flown by, right? Yeah, again. We've been thinking where we're going to go next, haven't we? Are yes. we going to stay here? Because it's been six months, we're sort of thinking, oh, well, should we, we love it here, should we stay mm -hmm. or? So we want to either do stay? a renovation or a build from scratch. What, after the 12, after the six, in six months? Um, when the ten, no, least, at least because ends. we've only been in America for a year, though, we need another year of yeah. accounts. Yeah, do we extend the lease here? Do we try renting in somewhere different? Do we try a different state? Mm. We did always, think about California before we moved to Miami. I know like a lot of people have things to say about California, but Everyone's personally- got things to say about everywhere. I love the landscape in California. Um, yeah, it's another good option for us that we may consider. At the end of the day, we have an initial three year yeah. visa in the States. Just to try, you know? Yeah, exactly. There's no harm in trying. We can come back. We're, we're only renting this apartment right now. Matt, what about moving to a state like just for a year, just randomly, like Colorado, or like... Well, it's too cold. <laughs> I know, but just like, you know, a random state that we wouldn't have ever thought of. Yeah, we don't like, need to move there for a year. Why don't we just go there for a month? Yeah, true. <laughs> Sometimes I think, what about just like a really random state? Like, we yeah, could just say we fun. lived in Tennessee. Well, one other <laughs> idea that we're, we've got at the moment is to um, go on a road trip. Oh, Yeah, that's so and as part of a series for the Luxury Home Show, and basically the idea is to drive from Miami to um, Washington, but not Washington DC, the Washington like, on the west side, northwest side. Shouldn't we just do Route 66 then? We can do, but this yeah. is a much bigger trip. Where this we is cover lots of states. diagonal yeah. through America. And we were going to do house tours on the way, so we're potentially planning that for next year. I don't know though, I need a big, I need a big RV to do Oh yeah, that. this would be full coach, but. <laughs> is it going to have a good shower to wash my hair? Yes, these coaches and talking on suite, <laughs> walk in, walk in wardrobe. Okay, I'm, so, I'm sold. <laughs> and we want to do one in May across California, which would be nice. But yeah, that would be good actually. We should just do California yeah, to be in There's right. lots of nice things that we want to do, but you just got to choose how we're going to allocate our time. We're really busy yeah. business wise at the moment. Let us know if there's any states that you think we should move to next year, just for the fun of it. But you're right, Matt, we could just travel there. We probably won't move for four years. So basically, it's should we stay in Miami? Because we do love it here. Maybe try a different area. But I do really like Brickle. Or do we try California? Who knows? I know people may shed their opinions on that in the comments. So let us know. Mm -hmm. So I really want to get a Samsung art frame TV. We've seen a couple lately. This is how we currently watch a show on our projector. So basically it goes on the screen. 
Matt, we've got an Android TV. We're Android users. <laughs> no offense, Android users. Well, we're an Android user. Yeah, now. we're an Android user. No, it doesn't look good there. It works for us. Yeah. Matt so, wanted to hold the camera like this. Yeah, let me know if this angle is weird <laughs> or if it's kind of vibing. It's kind of weird. But it's doable. Let's update them on our next plans. Yeah. Our next location we're going to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, the start of November, we are heading... What? Are <laughs> no, seriously going to put this in? Yeah. Like this. It's like we're lying in bed. <laughs> it does, actually. We are off to New York. <laughs> <laughs> New York. We're going again for the third time. Looking forward to it? No, I'm excited, yeah. It'll be a different weather this time. It's going to be cooler. Oh, it's going to be cold. So, we need to do a bit of a winter haul. I've already done that. I've yes, got you have. Jumpers. You have. I need to go get another jacket, so I'll try and take you along with that, but I might forget. I'll show you that after, though. Um, I might not even get one. I don't really know, but we'll see. <laughs> In terms of New York, we're there for approximately 10 days. And we're going to aim to do like 10 projects during that time at least. And that we're going to the Hamptons. We are going to the Hamptons too, yeah. So kind of out of season for the Hamptons, but it's okay because we're focusing on an interior designer project. Mm. And... We can still, we can see what the weather does. We'll still yeah. get some good stuff. We want to keep you guys posted with what we're up to. So thank you for watching with us today. Next vlog will be at Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. And even if you're not super into boats, come along with us because we'll do some other stuff as well. Get some nice food, enjoy the sunshine, enjoy life in Florida. And then it'll be getting ready for the New York trip. So please Can we get a free boat ride? Yeah. We'll get out on some boats. Ooh. Yeah, we'll get on there, yeah. Just having a browse. Should we get a pedaler? Serious bites. <laughs> I really want to see Bob. Do yeah, you know those little things that you hold on to. We could get a boat. We definitely could. We're just too busy right now. Like I would love to have one. Um, get one then. But no, I think it's not a priority because every day I'm working and busy. I just think, when would I ever use it? We should get a puppy instead. Um, yep. Okay. Vote puppy or boat in the comments. Both can be done and accomplished. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next vlog.